Welcome to All Home Care Matters, the show where we discuss all things home care with discussions on important age-related matters and topics. Brought to you by Enriched Life Home Care Services, the number one rated home care provider in Michigan by top rated local. Hello, and welcome back to All Home Care Matters. If this is your first time visiting us here at the show, we want to say thank you for taking time out to be with us today. We appreciate how valuable everyone's time is, and that's why we try and make each episode here at All Home Care Matters something that will hopefully matter to you. Today on this episode of All Home Care Matters, I wanted to take some time and share some of the background of how our upcoming panel discussion on the ethics of dementia and social media came about. A little over seven months ago, as we were concluding one of our interviews and the recording had already stopped, I had asked our guests a question. That question was, what do you think about some of the images and videos that are being shared on social media of individuals with dementia and cognitive impairment? I explained that far too often, I have seen videos and images of individuals with dementia that were being shared and posted in a very negative and poor light. Some had even bordered on being grotesque. Our guests happened to be two of the first people in the dementia profession who had graduated in a first-of-its-kind master's degree program specializing in dementia. However, this question had really never occurred to them, as it hasn't with most other professionals that I've spoken with. This led us to creating and collaborating on a survey asking others on social media, specifically LinkedIn, for their thoughts and input on this issue. As you will learn in the full release of this episode on February 14th, the results were very mixed. Is it okay to post images and videos of another person, specifically one who has dementia without their consent, if it is productive and helpful? If the person with dementia has some capacity to provide consent, how do we know if it is informed and that they fully understand the consequences of their consent being provided? And do they fully understand what social media is? Now the question then becomes, if the person cannot provide consent and the content, meaning the videos and or images, are not helpful, shouldn't there be some safeguards in place preventing this material and content from being posted and shared on social media? This led led us to reach out to Google, Meta, and other social media platforms seeking a response from them as to what their policies are regarding this issue. However, at this time, we have still not heard back from them. We still hope to receive a response since we know that there are policies and safeguards in place for content containing children, alcohol, drugs, and profanity. We understand and appreciate that there are very helpful, inspirational, resourceful, and educational posts of loved ones with dementia on social media that may provide others in similar situations with a sense of support and can help them to have a feeling of community. But is it okay to allow posts on one side of the issue and not the other more abusive, exploitative, and negative side. One then has to ask the question, isn't consent still consent regardless of the perspective, purpose, and content of the social media post? And can you have one without the other? Does it not all come down to consent regardless of the purpose and motivation of the post being shared on social media? This question is what led to the upcoming discussion with nine of the most influential and respected dementia experts in their fields, and we are looking forward to the release on February 14th, hopefully leading to a larger and more thorough examination of the issue. Every one of us either has a loved one with dementia, have had a loved one with dementia, or will have a loved one with dementia at some point, and it is up to us to ensure that they are protected and that their dignity is respected. We hope that you will join us on February 14th when we will be releasing the Ethics of Dementia and Social Media panel discussion. We also have an exciting lineup of shows and discussions for February that we hope you will join us for. On February 21st, we welcome the CEO and founder of CareWell, Bianca Padilla. On February 23rd, we welcome the founder of Busy Minds Box, Christina Lebowski. It's gonna be an exciting February and we hope that you will join us here at All Home Care Matters to be a part of all of these important discussions. We want to thank you for joining us here at All Home Care Matters. All Home Care Matters is here to help families as they navigate these long-term care issues. We invite you to visit us at allhomecarematters.com, where there's a private, secure, fillable form where you can give us feedback, show ideas, or if you have questions. Every form is read and responded to. And remember, you can listen to the show on any of your favorite podcast streaming platforms 
or watch the show on our official YouTube channel. We hope to see you next time here at All Home Care Matters. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to you joining us again on another episode of All Home Care Matters. To learn more about the show and to connect with us, visit us at allhomecarematters.com.